low voltage function, hazard lights on, doors on this side and locked in could be open, but on this side couldn't, no call system, that's bad, the rescue and extrication rating moderate. Airbags and passenger side curtain deployed. But the airbag deployed late. Its energy absorption was not great. The pillar broke later than that of similar cars. Structure rating poor. The broken pillar led to a severe intrusion. The front passenger's head was thus badly wounded. Poor. It wouldn't make it. The driver was well protected with minor injury. Great protection. In this test, its overall rating, moderate. 40 miles per hour 40% frontal offset crash against a deformable barrier. Simulates a crash against other vehicles. This is the IIHS moderate overlap frontal crash evaluation, a standard in NCAP assessments. The vehicle is set to the maximum load. Front, one dummy. Second row, two dummies. If there's a third row, two dummies. The chin plus DMI's hazard lights lit up. Doors unlocked automatically. No call system equipped. Rescue and extrication rating acceptable. The crumple zone was not ideal. The bumper beam and crash box worked badly. There are some structural failures. The pillar was uprooted. Plastic hinges also occurred. Severe intrusion into the compartment. The steering column was separated. The sill beam deformed. Structure rating, poor. Airbags deployed. Left air curtain popped up. Seat belts also worked fine, but the driver suffered grave chest compression. High risk of rib fractured, chest protection, moderate. Front restraint system, acceptable. The rear left dummy also suffered severe chest compression. Chest protection, moderate. Higher risk of injury plus calf fracture. Poor. The rear right one was even worse. Serious neck injury, moderate. Chest compression was severe, so poor. This will lead to internal injury of the chest. Its left tibial was also badly injured, so poor. Its survival chance is slim. The rear restraint system rating, moderate. Fifty miles per hour, seventy percent rear end crash by a one point for tons test vehicle. Simulates a secondary high speed rear ending. The dummy layout and weight distribution remained in change. According to the U.S. Federal Regulations 301 and 305, major focuses are fuel and battery leakage, thermal runaway, and structural integrity. After the crash, the fuel system saw a leakage. 
a small amount of fuel on the ground, probably caused by a fuel pipe crack. The fuel tank got no protection from the rear axle. Because it's positioned under the trunk, no leakage or thermal runaway in the power battery. The fuel system integrity rating, moderate. Extensive tearing in the sill. Many of its parts were separated from the body. Poor. In this test, its overall rating, poor.